Today we're talking about something you know a lot about. We're talking about breakups. Oh, I love the old breakup. I know quite a bit about them too, but they call them divorces, and it always ends with me losing half my shit. And that's a true story. We're next. Gonna, we're going to talk about that next on KillTheYon.com. Which presents the Mark Cave. Because when the fun is gone, you still gotta kill the yawn. So come on in and set a spell, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a chow, grab yourself any damn no thing you want at all. We got a damn good subject today. We actually, this was actually requested by one of our people, old Wolf Gamer. He wanted us to do this damn no show. And Wolf Gamer, I'm gonna put this disclaimer in right now. This verbal disclaimer. If you take anything we use and use it for yourself, well, you're just one sorry son yeah, of a bitch. Yeah, really. I'll just be honest with you. When it Beaver, causes your whole castle you're a to crumble down. You're a dumbass. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get for listening to us, but we're going to do it anyways. So anyways, what do you do? You know, you've been dating some chick for a long damn no time. Maybe the bill money's the same. Maybe maybe you're sharing the same place. Maybe you got a couple cars together. And then all of a sudden, one day she comes home and says, you know what? I'm packing my shit and I'm leaving. Now, that's, that's the real thing. Because usually, usually when that happens, the bitches, they've already got an exit plan. They've already, no, they've already taken your stuff. Anything that was worth having, they've already oh, yeah. stored in a little bag. I they mean, already it's decided already they were going to leave you months before they actually told you Damn that they right. were going to leave you. So, my suggestion is, or anybody that is dealing with this, you need to probably look around, grab yourself a number two notebook and a number two pencil. And look around and write some stuff down and, and just kind of take inventory because you're probably missing a lot of shit that you don't know about. I got me a little black bitch book. And, and that's a true story. I write down things as I see they're missing. I try to figure out if I've limited it out and things like that. Because sometimes I do that. Maybe I've had a little too much to drink and you've had my... You and know. you know, and it's something else too. And I learned this from you. you got to open up those DVDs and those video games. I don't care how long they've been sitting on the shelf. Open them up, make sure there's still a disc inside. That is something. true. If you've got if you've got anything with removable hard drives or hardware that's worth money, got some guitars and some guns. Go through and actually make sure that what's in the case is supposed to be in the damn dope case. I once had an autographed guitar in the box that was under the bed. Went to go sweep one day, and the box goes woo. Holy Which crap. obviously, if it had your Gene Simmons autographed guitar in the sun, bitch, it should be a little heavier than that. And Gene Simmons, he wanted to rock and roll all night long, and that bitch took his shit and so. So you gotta, be, you gotta be real, real careful. But once you take the inventory, and once the bitch is gone, now, all, now this is where the, the, the advice is gonna go a little froggy. Celebrate! I mean, you just dodged a damn no bullet! Yeah, because I'll tell you what, anything that you lost, the more time you spend, you're just going to lose more. That's a fact. And take this rabbit old boy that has been to the dance and been asked to leave several damn dope times. I have been married three damn times, and I went through divorces on just about everything you could think He's of. He's actually to the level where he has an escape plan. He has another house just in case. you got to have a damn dope <laughs> escape plan. you got to have an escape plan. And i got to tell this dumb son of a bitch, and a lot of people don't understand this. They say, well, you know what, I'll just stay with the girl and we're not going to get married. Let me tell you, moving her in is the equivalent of a marriage license. It is true. It is true. Because once you move her in, then she has got 24-hour access to all your damn no shit. And she's already been squirrel hauling. From yeah. the day you guys met, she was sizing up things that she would like. Yeah, she's like, you know what? I'd like to, I'd like to have this. So you gotta be real damn careful. But once you're out of the, once you're out of that, and what you know, you, you lost what you lost, and you, and now you get to keep what you get to keep. Build your shit back up. And you know, I mean, if you want a chick to watch a damn movie with you, then get a chick over to watch a damn movie. If you're wanting to watch, get a, you know, get her to touch the old naughty spot, then get you a chick to touch the old damn old naughty spot. But you don't need you a chick that's going to come in and take all your damn old shit. Really, I think the best piece of advice I can give for a man that wants always wants his stuff to be his stuff is compartmentalize. I mean, compartmentalize. Compartmentalize. What the hell is that? Uh, that means keep your stuff separate. You want to take her out to a movie? Meet to go to the movie. Go to her place for the movie. But keep her out of your out of your little world. Now this comes from a guy that just always moves in. You move in different chicks all the damn no time. Oh, I didn't say. I said it was good advice. I didn't you say didn't I say, took you it. You didn't say you did the damn no thing. <laughs> and what I always did is make sure that you know. 
I always bought my own things, and I'll tell you what I meant by that. I always, like, I'd have a hair dryer and a curling iron, so that was my shit. That way, that was my shit there, and they had all the things they needed well, to do, one. the fix up and all that stuff. That way, they didn't have to make the excuse to bring their own stuff I'll take and start one slowly step moving early. on into the place. Get the get the, the women toiletries. Go ahead and buy them yourself, too. That way, they don't have an excuse to bring their little caddies and stuff. If you've already got a little caddy and everything with their stuff in it, they don't have to bring their own stuff in. It never really was there. Yeah, and, and you don't have to tell them that that caddy's been around for, you know, That was from your great-grandma's, you know, I mean, you know, tell. Just that, we, that those pads were from your great-grandma in 1970. Just wait until she moves out and wipe all the shit down and clean it up and sanitize it for the next old girl. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's... Get the, a breakup suit. Well, you know, that, that's really, I think, like you said, I think everybody needs a backup plan. And you know what? If, and if you were engaged to, you know, if this is a situation and you're listening out there and you were engaged to a girl that left you, well, now you really did dodge a damn dumb bullet because that just means that, you know, a lot of times I think, a lot of times guys will say, well, I don't know nothing. I don't, you know, what? what's she going to take a mind? i tell you how dirty women are. Women will look at you and go, you know what? You're a loser. But if I shine a little bit here, and buff a little bit here, and wipe a little bit here, I could make you a winner to where you would go acquire some shit, and then I'll take it That, that is true. So you got to be real careful. Why don't you episode. guys give us some replies and tell us what are some things that you guys broke up over? What what caused these events? Let's talk about that on the next port cave. Well, we can do that. You know, even down in the down in the little description, you know, we'll go ahead and, and talk about some of the reasons why you broke up and and uh, and losses that you've had. That would be very interesting. And, and what did you do to deal with them? I know a lot of people do. They will do the alcohol. They'll drink for two or three days. Uh, me myself, I always say you get back on the damn horse. So I just go get me a piece of naughty spot. Because sometimes theft is just stupid. To get back to that guitar. She left the certificate of authenticity. Do you know what she probably got for that guitar without the certificate? Probably not enough. Well, we have a good dog. old buddy. We have a good old buddy of ours that actually got kicked out of his damn old house. And if you're watching this, you know exactly who I'm talking to. He got kicked out of his damn old house, and he actually came to your house. And you know, and he was all down and listening to listening to those dirty old songs, those I Love You songs. Oh yeah. And I will we'll always love you. And then he's drinking, and then he ate, and then he drank some more, and smoked some cigarettes, and you that's know. a pretty good day. Well, I mean, you know, that's probably the stuff that we would have done without him getting kicked out of his damn old house. But my point is this. Nobody gives a shit, okay? Nobody gives a shit. Nobody died. You didn't bury nobody. You didn't go to one of those damn old funerals. So, if she kicked you out, now all you got to do, you need to go find yourself some more poo-poo. If that's what you want, then go get some more poo-poo. Go get some more damn no naughty spot. And go on a damn no day. Don't and, worry about and it. And just like in every swap meet, everything that has been thrown away, there's somebody that thinks that's a sweet-ass treasure. <laughs> that's what they tell you, isn't it? Damn! <laughs> uh, you know, I think I clean up pretty good. Anyways, guys, like, favorite, subscribe, go over to killedeyon.com for all your damn dope And give us some discussion. Let us know what you think. Like, let's let's talk. Let's talk. We're open. We're open to anything and everything. Let us know what you want to talk about. Let us know what you want us to talk about. And let us know what you want to hear our damn dope opinions on. Because we got them. They're not always good, but we got them. We definitely got them. And I'm going to leave you guys all with this little, with this little st statement here. Be good to each other. And just remember, you're not going through anything that anyone has never gone through before. You're in a long line of dumb sons of bitches. Everything that we do has been done before. So, just realize that. Get back on the horse. Dust yourself off. Look around. Don't don't let yourself get all get all you know depressed. And, and don't sad. hold your sweetheart of the present accountable for the bitch of the past. That's true. That's true, because out there, there's somebody that will put up with all your damn bullshit, whether it's stupid, retarded, mentally deranged. And think it's cute. That's a thing. Somebody's going to think your General Jack Ashery is awesome. Just wait out for that girl. Until next time, guys, we'll see you real soon.